I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part one of my simulation series, Entering a Schematic with LT Spice. This is what LT Spice looks like when you first start, but if I do File and then New Schematic, you'll see a, a slight color change, and you'll see a, a schematic name there, and that's the default name. I can save it as something else. Now you don't want to save it in this uh, LT Spice 4 directory. That's that's where the application is, see under program files. You want to put it somewhere better. So I'm going to put it in documents, LT Spice, and I'll call it example three. These uh, menus light up here and I can add components. So you can see resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, and everything else is under uh, under here. It, it opens up a dialog with a bunch of components in it, uh, and there's shortcuts for all these all these buttons. Uh, they're actually the letters R, C, and L and D. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and and uh, click it here and add a resistor. I can rotate it with Control R, so rotate it around so I like it. And then I'll go grab a capacitor. I can I can either just start the next component to get rid of this resistor here, or I could press the escape key and then grab a capacitor and escape. And now I want to change the values. These reference designators are fine. I can call them R1 and C1, but there's a value that goes right here. So I go on top of the R and I right click and put in the value. And I'm going to put in my favorite resistor value, which is 1K. And for a capacitor, I'm going to put in this interesting value of 1.9 microfarads. And I can put in the F for uh, farads, or I can leave it. Um, I'll put it in. Let's see, I'm going to need a ground, like so. For a voltage source, that's under, under the components. Uh, voltage sources begin with a V for voltage. So I'm going to just choose a voltage source here. And the thing I don't like about the voltage source is where this text is located. So I'm going to move it around with this little hand here, the little move hand. There's a move hand and a drag hand. And you have to kind of experiment to see what they do to see which one you like better. In this case, I'm going to want the to do a little moving. And I can move this over here. And now I can change what value I get here. Now, by default, it's a DC source. All the other sources are buried under advanced, so I'm going to click the advanced. And these are the various time domain sources. And here's the DC value. And then there's a AC source. And I'm going to do an AC analysis, so I'll put a little 1 there. 1 volt is a good value to use for an AC analysis. I'm going to OK this. Now I'm going to add some wire. And I can wire it up, I can click, and then see I, the wire moves around somewhere. And I want to go to this pin, so I click here. And now it's finished. The, the little wire knows that it's finished. And I can go up here. And then if I want the wire to dangle, uh, I can press Escape and make a dangling wire. And then I can make another wire. Now if I'm, I'm clever and I want to go fast, I can draw the wire clean through a two-pin part. And um, and let's see what happens when I click here to finish the wire. Um, and I press escape to get out of this mode. It gets rid of this extra piece of wire um, because it's clever. And it guesses that I wanted to run the wire to both ends of the resistor and not short it out and go across it. And I need another ground. And I'll add some more wire. The wire. And now I would like to have labels for the nets. I always label the nets. They come up with default names, and, and I don't like the defaults very much. Call it V out. And I'll put that right here. And I can put another one over here. It, it'll be V out also, which would short the two nets together, which I don't want. And so I'm going to make this, I'm going to change this name to V in. And now it's ready to simulate. 